We are officially here. After Welcome, moments. Table Moments listeners. This yeah. is a key K Dizzle. This is what? A kid a kizzle. A kizzle. A kizzle? You're already weird. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Always. Come man. on. Man. Always. Always gotta be weird. What what if we get like an MTV show and they're like, yo, we need It'd be to- thanks to me because I'm fucking weird. <laughs> You're gonna be like, what's his name on Wild and Out? Who? The weird one. What's that guy's name? He's skinny. Oh, DC? Yeah, DC, DC Young Fly. <laughs> You're gonna be weird like him. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's what he says? That's okay. his catchphrase? No, 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 no. What? Don't worry about it. Come on, man. Don't worry about it. You know, eventually it. you gotta learn how to get comfortable in front of the camera. To ignore it. Stop looking at it. <laughs> well, welcome, Table Moments listeners. We. Welcome to After Moments on the road. On the road. This is the first time we are recording. Don't mention our location, please. I didn't, dude. Let me just speak. All right, I'm just. Reminding this is the first time we're recording on the road. All right, we're currently taking a trip. What are we doing? Snowboarding. Snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna let you lead this one. Go ahead. So this will be Iman's first time snowboarding. This, this guy fully committed to go snowboarding for the whole season. Even though he's never been. I've been ice skating. That's not the same. It's cold, and I committed for that. We'll see if I even like the sport. But, uh, yeah, snowboarding. Shouldn't be too bad. But I did watch a YouTube video about the, the economies of ski resorts. And, like, all the little things that they have to do. All the things they have to take care of just to make a season happen. Yeah. Like, obviously, they got to make the snow and all that. Seasonal workers, getting them all to come in. That's true. Especially in a place that's typically more they expensive flaky. to live. They flaky. Well, I mean... Like, if you're not going to pay them well, like, what do you expect? Because, like, I don't understand. Like, employers expecting top quality work for someone you're paying minimum wage. It's like, no. What the fuck? The mountain's not open all day. That's, like, let's be honest, that's only six hours of work. That's no, only- but you still got to get there. For minimum wage, and you got to live there. Well, that's why they they're just only looking for, for locals. The population increases, like, two, three, Plus, fold they get three season. season passes. That's already 600 bucks right there. That's if they even care about the shit. Most like, of them would. No, it's not. It's not a deal. And then plus they get it for, for the friends and family too. It's not a deal, dude. It's not a deal. It's not. No. I think it's. There's, Your seasonal there's a lot worker of perks. making. Perks. There's a lot of perks. Minimum wage. You gotta drive into this shit. You gotta live in that place, which is usually more expensive if you want a shorter commute. And then you're not guaranteed. If you don't have a job when the season's over, like the whole thing, it just sucks. This idea. These employers thinking you can pay someone minimum wage and you get top quality work out of it. It's like, no, you're not paying them enough to care. Well, you're going to pay them to do the ba- like basic minimum? Yeah, like, that's what minimum wage is. No, I'm talking about, you, no, the basic work. You're going to pay them a high, a high amount of dollars for, like, basic amount of work, which is controlling the ski lift, which is pressing a button. You want to pay them $23, $25 an hour to press a button. You got to convince people to come there. And only and accept a job that's only going to be good for a few months. Yes, you pay them more. Yeah. Nah, man. It's like I don't. Know. It's like, I I, bro. I can see it from like a business standpoint. Like, yes, you pay them minimum wage because they're doing the bare minimum. They're not. They're it not doing anything matter. difficult. It doesn't matter. Think about it. If they do less work than fast food restaurant. So what? What do you mean? So what? You gonna they pay them? To you go, gonna pay them? It's a job hell of money. that's guaranteed to end. So you got to convince someone to come to that region, stay there for a few months, and knowing that they're not gonna have a job later. Yes, you pay them more for that shit. That's a that's an inconvenience that you gotta pay for. Just even just to press a button. Do you think they're gonna have a cheery face when we're on the left and they're like, hey sir, this is how you get on? No. No. You're gonna be miserable because it's fucking cold. And it's cold! That's hazard pay. <laughs> hazard pay, really? It's yeah. Not, it's not fucking Alaska, bro. It's it's fucking No, it is Alaska compared to everywhere else in California. It's California, like Yeah, you tell me you can spend six hours standing next to a chairlift freezing your ass off. Tell me you can do that. I'm black. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Would you want to be paid more for... That's why you don't see no black people up there. I promise you. We'll, we'll Every employee... <laughs> let's, let's count it, all right? We'll oh, all right. Let's make a bet. <laughs> let's make a bet. How many, how many black employees you'll find? No. no scratch people, that. How people. many people, black people you'll see? <laughs> yeah. Because the last time I went, yeah. I only saw three. Three? Uh, three. I was about to bet 20. <laughs> All right, well, I know there's going to be at least two. <laughs> Nigga, that's a uh, course. Oh, uh, man. All right, I will go we'll in. Be, we'll be considered Indian, though. No, but here's the thing. It's on a weekday, right? So there might be even 
viewers. Because I feel like if black people are going to go snowboarding, if they ever do, it's going to be on a weekend. Oh, yeah, they're not, they're, <laughs> they're not going to go during a weekday. Nah, they're like, you know, I feel like snowboarding today. Here's my white voice. <laughs> no. White voice? That's your white voice? No. Uh, all right, five. That's my bet. Five. Today? Including us. No, <laughs> yeah. hell no. Fuck that shit. Niggas on the slopes. You must really enjoy snowboarding, man. I do. Or do you like all the footage you can capture and post on Instagram? That helps too. <laughs> for the gram, guys. It's for the gram. Hey, everybody feels envious. They're like, oh man, I wish I was up there. Like, oh, next time I'll go. Next year I'll go with you. Blah, 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 blah. No, but people don't. But no, nobody really commits. Yeah, I don't understand. So it's like it's, it's an empty promise. <laughs> it's a fucking empty promise yeah. that I get from people when they see my posts. They're like, "Oh, you want snowboarding? Snowboarding looks hella fun." Also, like, oh, yeah, they've never been snowboarding. Some of them, but they want to go, but they never do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The the only ones that really would go would be the ones that already have gear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a barrier to entry for sure. But it's like a lot of people are like that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, this looks cool. This looks. I want to. It's like, all yeah, right, but you gotta take steps, man. You gotta do it. Even small steps, like, hey, maybe do a bit of research. I don't know. Just little I've things. done that. I've done that. It was cool. It was nice. Yeah. 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 Then I took the the highest lift. That was a mistake. Why? <laughs> because I there? didn't know how to get the fuck down. <laughs> what do you mean? Like down the mountain? Yeah. It was so fucking steep. Oh, for real? Yeah. How steep were we talking? Like, 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 fucking like this. Oh, for real? Yeah, and I didn't know how to get down. So, then what'd you do? I fucking ate it all the way down until I got to, <laughs> when, once it started to slowly even out a little bit. For real? Yeah. How long was that? <laughs> it was a good, You're like, just, five minutes. Oh, uh, if you just falling. Just falling. <laughs> <laughs> Because oh, the thing is, if I w- actually just, like, wrote it down, yeah, I would have gone super fast, and I would have been able to control my speed. Yeah. It's not because I didn't, like, I didn't know how to get down. I knew how, but it was yeah. going to go too fast, and I was going to hit Wait, somebody. But you can just go back on the lift and go down, right? No. You can't ride the lift down? Nope. Oh, that's fucked up. But if you're like, no, 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 I messed up. <laughs> no, this is too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to they're gonna try to force you to jump off. And then if you don't, you can just sit on the lift and not move. And it'll still just take you down. But yeah. nobody ever goes down. <laughs> no, I, I can imagine. You'll be, you'll be the only nigga that will be on the ski lift going down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because What if you, you're injured? Huh? So Why would you be on a ski lift? If you're injured. No, you just get injured on the lift. Nigga, how? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think of the story you would give. It's like, no, you're on the lift, right? It does this rotation and then starts going down, right? And then you see, you go up, you go up, you go up. You're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. You start seeing, oh, shit, this is actually a lot steeper than I thought. Uh-oh. Then you get to the top and you be like, no! <laughs> no, I'm staying out here. <laughs> I broke my ankle on the way up. <laughs> At that point, it might be every black person because they can be like, oh, hell no, fuck yeah. this shit. Yeah, basically. Oh, oh hell no. no. Oh, 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 oh. That's why you won't see no black people up there. That's why you only see us two. We're really the only oh. two black people up there. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That's funny. God damn it. Yeah, we're going to be stuck behind it. God damn it. Yeah, that's fine. Slower is better. No, you you could draft it so you can save some fuel. Draft what? The slow speed? Yeah, the fucking vehicle. It's pushing the air out of the way for you. To do what? Drive at a slow speed? No. It, what? Fuel efficiency. Do you realize most of the energy that goes into moving the car is air drag at this speed? We're going downhill, man. Still? I'm not even pressing on the gas. Still? But you can maintain speed. This is good. Slipstream, dude. You know what it is. You're talking about a house, bro. <laughs> yeah, even better. It's like a huge ass slipstream. You're talking to an aerospace engineer, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's I know the, this shit. What's the point of slipstream if it's a big ass house? Fuel efficiency. You will last. Your fuel will last longer, dude. Way longer. Whatever, man. This is good. This is bullshit. Yeah, no. I, I think it's gonna be like this the whole way now. I know. So, there's an oversized load, basically half a house, riding on a trailer. <laughs> and we got stuck behind. It's half a house. It's literally half. I saw the other half back there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's go. Really careful. careful. Can you make it? Uh, but, I mean... Eh. Yeah, they opened up the lanes. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys will see it in the window. But there's a door in everything. It's a house. I would live in a pre-manufactured house for sure. Not a mobile home. 
a pre-manufactured house. Would you ever build your own home? I know you have a home, but like, would you ever build one? Like yourself with your hands? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be fucked up, I totally would. Nah, man. That is, sounds like an amazing maybe, project Maybe if be, I man. retired, but... Nah, man. Yeah, you're going to become a woodworker? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to buy my own land. There are people who do that. I've thought about this, and the kind of house I would want to build is, at least the walls would have to be structurally insulated panels. It's basically like Lego blocks you can put together, yeah. and they're like giant walls already. So yeah. you have like most of the walls already put together, you just have to assemble them. It would be cool if I could do it without like heavy construction equipment. Because this is what they did back in the day, right? They just bought plan. They fucking built this shit. You could buy a house from Sears. You used to. It comes with everything you need, literally. Then you just put it together. You and some friends put it together. People used to be able to just go to a store and buy a house. Like a whole construction kit. It comes with everything you need. Sears literally sold this in their catalog back in the day. Deliver all the things you need. All the wood, all the fucking screws and windows and everything comes. And then you literally build this house with friends. This is how houses used to be built. And those houses are still standing today. Now we get these fucking cheap ass wood. Shit's changed, man. Back in the day, it used to be nice. You used to be able to buy a hamburger for a penny. God damn. I know inflation, but still. Can you imagine just putting one time? One, one copper penny. Yeah, that's a burger. <laughs> God. Wow, bro. Now our pennies aren't even copper anymore. God damn. You know it costs more to manufacture a penny than a penny? Literally, the government loses money by making pennies. <laughs> I mean, the actual material in a penny, the tin and little bit of copper that they use in a penny costs more in material value than a fucking penny. Unbelievable, bro. That's why I came up with this idea, like uh, a penny lapel pin. You know how you have all these organizations they're like, hey, buy our pen and represent breast cancer awareness or American flag because you're patriotic or Black Lives oh, Matter. Byron. Well, I was thinking, what if you could make a whole movement around Abraham Lincoln? Say, we, we the people or something. I don't know. Some political shit. But you basically take the penny, which is Abraham Lincoln's on it, right? You put a little one of those pins on the back so you can turn it into a lapel pin. And then you sell each one for a dollar. So you're basically selling pennies for dollars. And then people can use it to fundraise and be like, hey, support our cause, we the people, $2 or $3. And so they can use it as a way to raise money and give a small token, as a way to encourage donations. That's like a persuasion trick. And the manufacturing cost of that would be incredibly low because all the intricacies and details were done by the U.S. Mint. <laughs> I didn't have to put Abraham's picture on this fucking thing. And it's legal tender, so you can literally rip the shit off if you need a penny one day. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying it's like a uh, penny lapel. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Do you think we could sell, sell a penny for a dollar? Or me? I don't think we want to be a part of it. <laughs> I already figured out how to manufacture. Here's the thing. What if we need to add some uniqueness, right? There's some chemical process using zinc um, where, you, where you can actually like turn the penny gold or silver. So you can go both ways. Like maybe... Um, the regular penny could be bronze, so you can have bronze, silver, and gold, and based on their donation level, they get whichever a special pin. So you have some status built in to this whole thing. You'd be able to make more money. Maybe you sell a gold pen, lapel pin for ten dollars, silver for five, and a regular one for like two. And then you could always go to college campuses and be like, "Yo, this is help. This is in support of whatever fucking bullshit students are always protesting about, right?" Yeah. So, uh, yeah, coming soon. Are there any, like, unique ideas you've come up with and be like, mm, I wonder if that could be a business? Because you know I come up with so much shit. <laughs> Most of them probably won't work. But I think they're logically sound. <laughs> I don't think they are. Really? Like this penny idea. Crazy, it's right? dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. But it could work. <laughs> it's crazy enough to Anything work. Anything could work. Yeah, it's a marketing issue. And that's the thing, I haven't quite figured out marketing just yet. I mean, I'm still figuring it out with this podcast. <laughs> but once I do, nigga, yo, if I figure out marketing, all my ideas work. <laughs> all of them. And it's just like, how much money do I want to make? <laughs> that's the decision. <laughs> oh, man.
what, what's your weirdest, hey, I, want, I, want, I would be cool to do this and make money idea. We can get crazy too. Like, you want to be a pimp? <laughs> Let's explore it. <laughs> a digital pimp. That's not a bad business idea, honestly. Like, it's, you go to like Eastern Europe and you recruit. And then you have a, a like, <laughs> you buy a house that have different rooms and then you send them. Yeah, basically. Obviously, you That's want, not bad. Obviously, That's not bad. obviously, you don't want to do. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do prostitution, obviously, but well, I mean, in a I'm, sense, it kind of is. Legal there. I don't know, Eastern Europe. No, they're the religious ones. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but um, obviously, we don't want to like do the plot of Taken and convince. No, we're not going to get Western girls. Nobody likes them. <laughs> but yeah, a digital pimp. Why not? I mean, like. That's easy money. It's sinful money, but it's easy. <laughs> I don't know. Do you ever have an issue with that? It's like, damn, I could make money this way. It's but. not gonna work here. That's definitely not good for sure because I, there's OnlyFans. OnlyFans like women are gonna take ownership no, of their but own. But here's thing. the thing: you can manage the OnlyFans for a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of these women don't understand how to capitalize their looks. Like usually, the the top OnlyFans have a guy running it. So it's like you could literally. Offer services. Yeah, but this. some of them are just gonna be like, nah. I'd rather just I'll That's make less. I'll make less just so I can run it on my own. That's fine. You find girls who are willing. You're like, yo, your website sucks. I'll build you a new one. Your engagement sucks. You need to fix your social media. Your pictures suck. Here, here. I hired this photographer to actually take good pictures for you because your lighting is shitty. I got you good lighting. I even hired people on Fiverr or people in the Philippines to engage with your audience because OnlyFans isn't a. Di- as far as I understand, it's not a distribution platform, is it? It's not like Instagram where they have a feed, where they like suggest other people, do they? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, from what I understand, it's just like you pay for access to some people's shit. So you need discoverability, and you can't get that on OnlyFans. From what I, obviously, I'm gonna look into this after this. But you offer the other services so that they can grow even faster and make more money. So it's like you don't think a girl will pay a thousand dollars a month if you can bring in five grand? It's easy money. They don't have to do any more work. You're doing it. But you get a thousand dollars. It's like okay, one girl is a thousand dollars, not much, but if you're managing ten girls accounts, ten grand, boom. A lot of these amateur only fan people, they ain't serious about the I know with all the work I'm doing here, the amount of effort it requires to make content. I know a lot of these only fans girls are too lazy to be doing this shit. Yeah. And then you know with fresh and fit, they're always bringing all these only fan girls on. And they keep mentioning, like, yeah, I do it with my boyfriend. Yeah, your boyfriend runs the fucking thing. We know. You ain't doing it by yourself. It's not a one-person job to have a successful OnlyFans account. It's not. So maybe I'll look into that. Maybe I'll be a digital pimp. What about that? Maybe that could be our next venture. It's still in the content creation space, so it falls under the Tef brand. Tef, Tef triple X? <laughs> I don't know. Tef unrated? <laughs> X-rated. X-rated. No, but the X- Triple X-rated. Triple X-rated. It got cold all of a sudden, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. A little chill. Yeah. The <laughs> shadow. Chill. We're on the south side. You know what the north side is? The, the brand? They're actually referring to a mountain. The north side of a mountain. Well, I realize that now. Yeah. Do you know what Patagonia is? No. I don't either. <laughs> I think it's a clothing brand that white people wear on the ski slope. Do you know what Jan Sport is? Yeah, it's a fucking backpack. <laughs> 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 Mainly known for backpacks. Yeah, that, the the straps sucked. That's what I remember. Or maybe I was just putting too much books in there. I was a smart nigga. Hella books. <laughs> yeah. Hella books. Textbooks. You look like a camel. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I think I might start doing car vlogs. Well, you haven't heard the sound yet, so you don't know how much work. Yeah, it's I know. That's be. what I'm worried about. Exactly. So I don't, don't get over, no, too hyped about it. Yeah, See, if we were in a Tesla... You'd still hear the road noise. Not as much. That's how you could justify the Tesla. Yep. <laughs> you know, if this table moment thing turns, turns out well, we'll buy a table moment Tesla. <laughs> hey, I don't mind just putting table moments up the side of the car. No, I, that's, that's a requirement. If table moments is the reason why we get the Tesla. And it pays for it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to brand the shit out of it. Are you kidding me? Table moments on one side, tap on the other, alpha wet on the fucking hood. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> it's going to be like a fucking race car. 
but it's gonna look classy, okay? <laughs> we're, gonna make the, we're gonna make the graphics tasteful. We'll get Alberto to work on it. We'll put a ring, a wing on there, not because it needs it, but because that's more surface for ads. And it looks good. Yeah, we'll put some writing right on the wing, or just right. Tesla, bitch. We'll put our animated faces on the side. <laughs> yeah, imagine picking up a girl in a car like that. <laughs> Is like, uh, cool car, but who's these little kids on there? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, that's us, <laughs> that's me. Have you listened to the Table Moments podcast at Table Moments? You see on the side, on the yeah. that's a lot to explain every time. <laughs> yeah.